Hey everyone. Um, today we're not going to see any new train things per se, but uh, if you remember months ago, I showed you this Diecast Masters M323F railroad wheeled excavator. And I really love these diecast vehicles. And if you watched my um, cat train set, diecast train set video, you saw a log loader that was on a flat car load, which I don't know if diecast masters made that one, but it, they're very similar. So I was moving things around. And I saw this the other day and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get some more of these. I like them so much. So I went and got a backhoe and an actual uh, excavator because they actually use those in the railroad quite a bit when they like um dump ballast or change out switches or crossovers they usually use one or two of those to move everything because they can lift a lot so let's just dig right in these boxes and i'm not sure which one these are these, these, let's see um these did come in another box and they're shipped so this is the actual box that you first get from diecast masters i didn't want to do a video of you know a box and a box and a box and they always come wrapped in this like fabric, which protects the tin that they come in. Okay, so we got the back hoe. And you get this uh, really nice tin. That shows you what's inside. We'll spin around, got all the specs on the loader. All right, so let's dig into this. Oop, took some doing. All right, so you get the normal catalog. This one's from 2019. Nice foam packaging. Let's pop that out. And then, wow, that is nice. This one has a driver in it. I can show you to without too much glare. Nice rubber tires. This all moves up and down. And they got the actual backhoe part. Like I said, if you watch some videos on YouTube, I think these come down. I don't know if they go all the way up. And that's as far as they go. Oops. Get that camera up. But if you watch, uh, you know, maintenance away stuff, You'll often see these guys because the you know the big wheels can get over the tracks and stuff, and they'll use the front to dump a lot of ballast. Or I see them use the buck. A lot of times they don't have a bucket; they have a little hook that they can nudge the rails with. But I've seen where they've had about like four of these on a job site. All right, so let's open up the other one. Once again, the outer box, the nice cloth. Cover. We got the little sticker that holds it all in place. So I can get it apart. There we go. And that's the wrong end. Hey, what do you know? The riser is two ends, or one end opens and one that doesn't. Okay, so this is the hydraulic excavator. Once again, you get a picture of it, the sides, and the specs on this thing. I gotta focus. And let's get this one open. Same 2019 catalog. I like they put a hole in the foam so you can get the foam out because it's in there tight. Which is nice because it protects the uh, vehicle pretty well. Ooh, this is cool. Let's see it all. Bucket comes down. Oop, goes way up. And that too has a uh, driver in it. So that's pretty cool. And usually they have a chain hanging right here. And they'll get a couple of these guys. I've seen, you know, two to three. And they'll pick up brand new prefabbed switches because those, I mean, you figure the steel that's in just one switch. These guys will pick up and they'll slowly, you know, move it over and being treaded. They seem to go over anything practically. And this, does this spin? Yep. 
It's a little stiff, but that's to be expected. It's brand new. Let's see, I'm hoping I'm showing these guys to you. And there's a nice front view. You've got the controls. So these will be perfect on a, uh, you're doing a little scene where they're fixing the track. And, you know, once you get a layout built, cough, cough, these will be a nice little, you know, little, put off this side on the main line, a nice little uh, track and be a cool little scene. Actually, I'm even thinking about getting maybe a couple more of these. I mean, they're not, I think I paid, oh, around $27 a piece. I mean, they're not the cheapest or the most expensive, but, you know, they're really nice. Like I said, they're die cast, the hydraulics work. And these came with a driver. The uh, other one that I got doesn't have a driver in it. And I don't think you can take it apart without making a mess to put a driver in. But, yeah, I really like these. All right, let's put them on the... Uh, diorama I made and see how they look.